Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be packing together for my next Disney trip which is tomorrow. Um, as I'm uploading it, it's tomorrow. So um, I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of drilling because my neighbor has been drilling all day and it's getting too late to record it later so I thought you know what let's just roll with it. So I am grabbing this suitcase which I also used in my other packing video but I ended up going for a larger suitcase. This time I'm only going four days instead of five, so I thought it should fit in this. So let's get started. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. We're starting with the clothing items. I have two sweaters that I'm taking. I am taking this sweater that is like a vintage style. Let me open it up a little bit. It's from H&M. As you can see, it's very cute, and this is an extra large because that's the only size they had, but I thought it was so cute, so I am taking that one, and I am also taking this sweater, which is a Mickey Happy Holiday sweater. This is from Primark, and it was also in a medium, so it fits a little bit better. That's the only two sweaters I am taking because... I am also going to be wearing a sweater obviously when I'm in the train and obviously I don't need four sweaters. I can reuse one and that way I have some space in my suitcase. Then for my pants I am taking the same kind of pants twice. I am taking this striped one, blue stripe, and this pink one and I am wearing a black version tomorrow at the train so that's good. Um, these are very comfortable. They're not very warm, but I feel like they will do the job. Then I'm also taking a pair of tights. These are a special kind of tights that are like really good at regulating the temperature, so it keeps you very warm. If I feel like it's getting a little bit cold in me, I will just pop these under my pants and I'll be good to go. Then obviously I am taking underwear and socks. It's not interesting. I am taking some masks. For my toiletries and stuff, I am just taking band-aids, a toothbrush, and toothpaste, a comb, some hair elastics, and shampoo and conditioner because I am going to be staying at the Santa Fe Hotel and I haven't been, so I feel like I should just bring some just in case I don't get any. I probably will because it's Disney, but I think it's still a good idea to bring some. Then for my cable equipment, this isn't everything yet because I still have some power banks that are charging. I have a spare cable that I am just taking in case one dies. I have this very handy USB thing that I bought today. It has different kind of outlets so I can also use this in America which is very nice. But it has USB ports so you just plug it in and then you have four USB ports you can use which is very... I love it because I have almost everything on a USB. So this was only 12 euros and I feel like it's very worth the money. Then I obviously have my uh, camera battery um, charger. Um, I also have a spare battery in there, the other one I'm currently using, but I have two batteries in total so I can film the entire time and I won't have to worry about dead batteries again. And I'm also obviously going to take some power banks. I have one charged in my backpack right here and I have a few other ones that are charging right now so I will add those to this later. Then I have this little pouch for my makeup. I am not bringing a lot. I am just bringing the basics. I am bringing mascara, eyeliner, and then I have some beautiful eyeshadow sticks that are just sparkly. I feel like, I don't know if I'll use it, but I do think it will add a little bit of sparkle to my look. I have this cute little blush palette that I feel like it's just great to use for traveling because you have highlighter and blush, some concealer, and then some lashes lash glue. So I should be good to go with everything here. I'm not taking a lot like I did last time because I know that I'll just do simple makeup anyway and I can always add things to this if I feel like I need anything I'm just gonna get it at a store. Then obviously if you're going to Disney or if you have been to Disney you might find out that snacks are quite expensive and 
if you go early, like a rope drop. It's not really a rope drop because that's like an American thing, I think. I don't think they do it in Paris. But if you go at the start, the opening of the park, not a lot of food things are open. So if you didn't grab breakfast at your hotel or anything, at the earliest you might get like decent food is maybe at 11. So we bring snacks. I have different kind of snacks in here and I also have a lot of other ones that I threw in my bag for the train. Last time I experienced a lot of nausea because I didn't eat properly in a train and I really want to avoid that because my first park day was totally messed up. So that's why I grabbed a lot of my and my sister's favorite snacks to just snack on. Then the ears I'm taking. I am taking three pairs of ears. These are the ears that I have customly made from Michelle. Um, I will put her Instagram right here. She makes these beautiful ears and she's also Dutch so you know supporting my locals. I feel like they're very comfortable. The print is so cute and I just love it. So these are probably going to be my main ears. Then my uncle and my aunt they got me this set of ears. They're not really Disney ears but they got this at a store in I think it was Spain. So they're like Christmas themed and I thought you know what they're so tiny and they're Christmas themed I might as well bring them because you know they're cute and they don't take a lot of space either. And then the third and final pair, I know I'm taking a lot of pairs, are these slinky dog ears that I also took last time. I am probably not going to wear them but my sister really liked them so I'm taking them for her. Then I am also putting this in my suitcase. This is the Marvel bag that I got lunch fly for my birthday. Ah! Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to stuff the inside of this bag with things that I put in my suitcase. And then I'm going to put this in the suitcase. I feel like this is just a little bit small to take everything that I need in the train. Because the tripod for my camera is already this big. So it's not really a big bag, but it's going to be perfect as a park bag, so I am taking that in my suitcase. Then I am taking my East Pack for the train traveling part. Um, I am just bringing a tiny little tunnel teaser that I just bought. It has dinos on them, they're so cute. Um, yeah, just to you know, be able to brush my hair through. Perfect little comb, it was really cheap. And yeah, I have some food, I have like mini Oreo pouches. I have a straw just in case I need one and I also got one power bank in here just in case I need them in the train. So that's most of the things I am bringing. I probably will add things here and there like deodorant, you know, everyone brings deodorant but this is kind of everything I'm taking. We are going to Disney Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and we are also staying there Tuesday night but Wednesday we are going into Paris so that's why I'm taking a small bag. So it's easier to store it whenever I need. I feel like I'm probably missing a lot of things but for me if I have the basic things like toothpaste and clothing, underwear, socks, it's gonna be fine because anything you need you could probably get and if you have the basics what else do you need, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Disney vlogs are coming very soon because obviously I'm gonna be Disney. So I hope to see you soon in those vlogs. I hope you have an amazing day. If you want to, you can subscribe down below right there or leave a comment. It would mean the world. And make sure to follow my Instagram if you see this video before Wednesday, the, I think it's the 17th, I don't know, November, uh, because you will see my park stories because I'll be at the parks. So yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you for watching.